Tension rise as a government senator defends the prime minister's strong stance on the recent Cherry Tree Lane massacre, sparking a heated debate on justice and vigilantism. Now the exchange has drawn sharp, sharp criticism from Jamaicans for justice, while others rally in defense. Ramon Gordon has more. Government Senator Adka Fitzhenley has urged Jamaicans for Justice, JFJ, to be cautious with their comments. Following a recent statement by Prime Minister Andrew Holness, Holness has described the violent Cherry Tree Lane massacre as an act of terrorism, insisting that the perpetrators must meet a judge or meet their maker. I believe it's a no-brainer that people who are willing to pump bullets using M16 weapons, they will not hesitate to take on the security forces. And therefore, the comments by the Prime Minister was quite in order that individuals who carried out this act of savagery should either be taken before a judge or meet their maker. JFJ's Executive Director Mikhail Jackson is on record having criticized the Prime Minister's most recent remarks for potentially encouraging vigilante violence. Fitzhenley has since countered that stance, saying it could be perceived as support of criminality. I encourage the Jamaicans for justice to be careful about the message it is sending to perpetrators of violent crime. I caution the current leadership of the organization to assess the space because the Jamaican society is not in a mood to send mixed messages in terms of how people who perpetrate violent crimes and communities are to be treated with. Many have come to the senators and by extension the Prime Minister's defense. However, former public defender and current secretary of the Independent Jamaican Council for Human Rights Arlene Harrison-Henry is urging pause. Due process is fundamentally important. We have laws. People are very put out by what has happened. I think I would take a more moderated approach that is a time for us to come together. It's a time for us to encourage communities to share information. I saw the statement. I didn't like it. I would want a different approach. At least one suspect has been killed in relation to the mass shooting in Clarendon. Five men are in custody, while the police and military forces continue investigations in the parish. These are not long-term measures. All you do is that you break up what exists in the space. Now is not the time to punish and pick up everybody you can find and lock them up. No, it's not that time. No, it's the time for the real hard work of intelligence gathering. The Prime Minister says authorities are well advanced on that front. At a recent press briefing, the Prime Minister said the investigation this time around would rely primarily on intelligence. Uh, the JCF, the JDF, MOCA, and all our security apparatus is responding not in the traditional way. We have new modalities and new ways of responding to this. Harrison Henry is making a plea to impacted communities. We call on members, persons who live in the community, persons who are connected somehow to what has happened, who may have information, no matter how small or insignificant you believe it is, share it with the police. Ramon Gordon for CVM News.